Hey everybody. Okay, I got another uh, ant build here for you. Now this one's a little unique, something uh, out of our norm. This guy right here is a six pill base ant. This uh, guy here is fully loaded. Comes with uh, sideband preamplifier. And this guy is also AB biased. Not, uh, not B biased like uh, some amp manufacturers that are out there that work with uh, 2879s, but we went ahead and uh, we backed this guy down to AB biasing <clears throat> per the customer's request. As one thing, uh, they are uh, big on uh, talking on sideband and uh, definitely looking for a crisp, clear signal. And that's exactly what we're going to give them. Now, we do not have these uh, units on our website. But we do uh, pretty much anything that you can uh, imagine with uh, pill amps. So if you're looking for something in uh, a C class, which is our normal amplifier, so we can also do B class as well. Um, we can do A B, which uh, that's what this guy is here. And uh, as soon as I finish doing the test here, I'll go ahead and pop the hood, show you guys around, and uh, show you our biasing circuit. And show you the back side here. Now this unit here comes with a 150 amp power supply, so she is a pretty hefty beast. I want to say she's almost nearly about a little over 80 some pounds, no problem. Okay, now one thing about these bias amps, they don't require much drive, so um, they're not you're not going to see as much watts as you would on a Class C amplifier. So what we're doing here, we're actually uh, driving this thing here with a 114.46. So we'll probably get anywhere between 85 to 90 some watts uh, drive input. So I'm going to hit it basically with a uh, a mild one pill, and she should net anywhere between uh, 950, maybe a little over a, a kilowatt. Now you can drive this thing with about 150 watts. Um, you'll probably see maybe about 1150 out of it max. Um, Class C amp, um, you'll definitely uh, see some more watts out of here. Uh, in ballpark range between 14 and 1500 watts, no problem. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and fire her up here. Now, one thing we went ahead and done was we uh, did the blue scheme. As you can see, we got the uh, the four blue LED fans. Very nice and quiet. Just like all of our fans, these guys are self-regulated. Come with internal filters on each individual fan. So when you key the mic up, you're, you'll notice uh, you won't have any uh, bleed over or anything like that on the fans. You, don't, you won't get that talk back effect through the fan. Um, and the fan will actually stay the same RPM range no matter what. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, key her up here. Again, we've got a uh, single final unit in Washington. And we'll go ahead and put her up on the uh, LP100A. First, I'm going to check the uh, the drive. I'm going to show you how much drive we're putting uh, into this bad boy. Audio breaker, 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 breaker. <whistles> All right, 122 watts must be on a good day. Okay, so we're going to put 122, drop it into this uh, six six pill AB. Oh uh, yeah, check one, two, three. Audio, check, check, check. Break a, break a, break a, break a, break a, break, break, break. It's about eleven ninety. Actually, is a little more than I was hoping for. Um, one thing about this guy here, it stays uh, very cool. No overheating issues, especially with four fans. We got. Uh, Good section of the fans here blowing on the uh, the actual power supply, and then we got the other two blowing on the rectifier and the uh, six pill board. All right, let's go ahead and uh, pop the cover here. Give you a little look, see. Be right back. All right, pop the hood and look what we have here. All right, let's see what we have here the uh, six pill section. Uh, combined in uh, two pill increments. Got the input and got the output combiners.
and right here to on the left hand side is the rectifiers and here we have the bad uh, bad boys here these big transformers this power supply is uh, definitely big enough to run an 8 pill C class with no problem whatsoever okay and let's see here we have the our, uh, our custom uh, pre-amplifier circuit and basically what we try to do here is uh, make sure our preamp circuit here uh, drowns out uh, less white noise and get more clear signal coming through okay and here is the bread and butter this right here is our biasing circuit right here actually controls all three two pill sections um, as you can see here, uh, the little pot, we can actually take this on the scope here and we can tune it from uh, anywhere between A class, A, B, and B class. C class, on the other hand, we can do, um, say if you're a big sidebander and you know, you'd like to talk sideband, you want it crystal clear, but when you go on AM, you want that uh, class C power. We can actually uh, make a uh, multi-biasing uh, switch where you can switch it from you know A, A, B, B and all the way down to C so if you're looking for something kinda like that around that nature you know give us a call and uh, or drop us an email we can definitely make it happen for you so alright oh and here are the fans and as usual, especially on these guys too, um, these uh, blue LED fans, they're actually very sensitive to RF, so we have to take extra precaution and, and try to uh, do some extra filtering and uh, uh, definitely have to be regulated because they're very sensitive to voltage too. All right. Oh, and another thing I forgot to mention, um, some kind of obvious here. Uh, now this is a 110-120 input. Uh, we do make our amplifiers uh, to accept, uh, you know, uh, 230, 240. I wouldn't recommend it on an amp this of this size, but anything, you know, I would say 8 pill and up, it's definitely an option. Um, if you're going to be running 16 pills, 24 pills, 32 pills, anything like that, I would recommend, uh, you know, a uh, a good 240 uh, setup. All right, gentlemen. Well, if you guys had any questions, definitely feel free to contact me at destroyeramps at AOL.com. Or you can check us out on our website here at destroyeramps.com. 73rd, gentlemen.